All right, uh, I'm gonna be starting this project today, but it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I've started part six of the crappie already, but I still have a couple segments to go to finish that up. Uh, but I'm real close to burning scales for it, and I need to make some more burning tips. Uh, and what I mean by that is I have um, these tips that I make and I'm able, by making them myself, I'm able to shape them exactly or close to what the actual scale looks like. Because on a, on a crappie or a bass or anything for that matter, not all the scales are the same shape and size. And they're different on different parts of the body. And I'm, I've learned to make these from this uh, DVD series that I purchased here a couple months ago. Uh, this is from fishcarver.com, and this particular one is creating realistic fish scales. And then I also got one on uh, carving fins, um, but um, we'll do that on another one. But what caught my eye on this one is there's a segment in it on how to make these scale tips. You can also, he's also got uh, instructions on how to make the whole pin, but I don't need that, so I just need the tips. But what it is, is... um. He's using a nichromium wire. This is 16 gauge, and I think I bought a three foot roll of it. It was like $4, I think. And with three foot of wire, I can make 15 tips. And those same 15 tips, if I bought them, would be 100 bucks or more. $118, I think, is what I, came, what I figured out. But on these, I can make them to my specifications, what I want, the size I want, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this is not my idea, this is, again, this is what I've learned from this video series, so the credit goes to uh, Ed Walensky and thefishcarver.com. So, um, but I'm gonna pass this on to you. The, I've got the wire here, and, and I'm gonna, turn the camera around here and show you what I've got set up here and how to do that. So basically it's just doing mini blacksmithing. So, but I'll show you that. Let me get the camera turned around here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, what I've got here is uh, an old sledgehammer head, an old rusted sledgehammer head. And you know, I told you on the last one that dad was a hoarder and he didn't throw anything away. Sometimes the things come in handy. Uh, this is just an old sledgehammer head that the handle had broke on. Uh, the handle could be replaced, but it's set up and rusted. So I took a grinder and moved out the uh, the head of it, and now it's a little mini anvil. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire, and I'm going to cut off a little two-inch piece of it, about two inches, give or take. So I've got the little piece like this, and then I take a pair of needle nose pliers, and I just I bend it down to make legs on it, like that. So you got this little piece here, and then then we take a hammer and start hammering it out, and you come up with this, and. But I'm going to show you how how that goes. But what I'll do is I'll take this and grind it down with a Dremel to the shape of the scale, and then in a few minutes, I will um, turn the burner on and, and show you on a piece of scrap how, it's, how it works. So let me get this uh, little piece of wire out here. And this one, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to flatten this out. I just take the, the ball part of the ball peen hammer and just start hammering it out. The glass is on here, I can see.
he um, in his video he talks about experimenting with several different uh, brands of this nichromium wire and I don't know what brand this is but he bought a huge roll of it so he just he sells it in these little whatever section I think it's uh, three six and twelve foot sections of it so um, but it it's a, a real easy moving metal and once you get it heat treated which you just do that with the um, with the with the burner it's it hardens up and it's right now it's pretty flexible so uh, but I'll show you that in a minute also I'm gonna finish flattening it out here all right I've got it flattened out and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind the edges and make the shape of the scale. And like I say, this one was about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to make this one maybe just a little bit smaller. And then I'll put it in the heat gun in the uh, burner and show you how it works. So let me get the Dremel out here. Well, you can tell that stone, you can tell that stone is cheap. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Let me get this diamond bit on here. I kind of did that last time when I made that first one and it just didn't work very well. So. We'll use that stone to cut these bigger ears off here. I'm just going to take these, uh, Okay, so now you can see that shape now, I think, right there. And you can see here's the bigger one. And then I'll make a smaller one than this um, for even smaller scales. So I'm going to do that. I'll tell you what, let me, um, let me, um, Hook this, turn this on, and show you how they burn. So I'm gonna do, give me a second to get set set up here. Okay, so I've got my razor tip heated up, and this is the big scale. So I'm gonna show you how. Actually, it needs to be a little bit farther over. Let me do. Let me start over here.
so you can see how that's working and it's, I know it's gonna be hard to see on camera but that leaves the right correct relief behind the scale um, so I'm gonna put one of the smaller ones on now so give me a second on that it, it's kind of important also that you make these as even as possible because if you make them if they're uneven if they're wider on one side than the other the narrower it is the hotter it'll get in that spot so I want to try to make it even all the way around all right here's the smaller one and I may have to adjust it and file it down a little bit here and there but this will give you an idea Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust that one a little bit. I need a little bit more heat. Yeah, I need to adjust it out a little bit. So it's burning a little bit more on this one side here. Yeah, I need to adjust that out. Let me do that. I still need to do a little bit of adjustment on it, but you get the idea. And it takes a little bit of practice. May need to be a little bit deeper. Okay. Got this tweaked a little bit and it's burning much cleaner smoother and even so that's looking pretty good there let me let it turn it off and let it cool down i'll put the small one in see how it does ah, that's better But you get the idea. So we had the bigger ones up here, and then we had the smaller ones. The majority of on the crappie will be done with this quarter inch. So uh, and probably this the next smaller one. There's going to be very few, maybe around the head around the edges of the fins where I'll, I'll be using this little little bitty one and it's about a eighth of an inch three millimeters or so but anyway so there you have it Okay, I'm at a stopping point here. I just wanted to kind of give you a little idea of what was involved in making these tips. Uh, it's, it's really easy, and I really like the way they look. And they're just a little bit more realistic looking. By doing it yourself, you're able to get not only cheaper, way cheaper, I mean, just a few cents per tip versus 7 or $8 for one that you'll purchase. But I'm able to get a bigger variety of sizes and shapes by doing it myself 
and because on a when you look at a at a live fish the scales are all different they're they're different sizes from the from the sides to the belly to the top of the back front of the head and i see so many carvings out here that all the scales are burned on exactly the same size and it's just not it's just not how it is on a, on a live fish so i'm trying to get as accurate as i can on them so that's why i've decided i like the way these work so this is how i'm going to do it from now on but again these weren't my idea these come from this dvd series that i purchased and uh, they're not a sponsor of mine in any way i mean i purchased these and uh, but i really enjoy them so i learned i've learned a lot from them and i may end up purchasing more as i go along but the two that i've again the two that i picked out was creating uh realistic fish scales and this also has the tutorial on how to make these tips uh, which is where i got it and the one on carving fins is also had the tutorial in it on how to make that little deburring tool that i made on a uh, video two or a series or two back but um it work it also works well but i'm going to finish this row off and uh, make some more and then i'm going to get set up and uh, finish the segments on uh, part six which will include burning the scales on the on the crappie itself so hopefully i'll have that video out and completed here and out and uploaded here in a couple days but i appreciate y'all watching and if you have any questions or comments please leave them for me in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't and uh, give me a thumbs up and i uh, appreciate y'all watching and i'll see you in part six